Greetings to you all. This is uh, Sean here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, talk about crystal skulls and uh, how they can uh, benefit anyone during their uh, psychological development. Crystal skulls can uh, enable one to uh, open up their uh, chakras during meditation, specifically their third eye, and uh, they can uh, bring a great benefit to uh, awakening one to uh, the higher realms of consciousness. I'm an avid collector of uh, crystals and over the past couple of years I have invested uh, quite a sum of money in uh, into uh, crystal skulls and uh, I'd be uh, more than willing to uh, share these uh, with you. Now as you can see here I have about a dozen skulls. Um, I've uh, purchased these through uh, various local uh, shops and um, they've been uh, very beneficial to uh, towards my uh, personal development and uh, anybody who uh, uses uh, crystal skulls would agree that uh, they are uh, very powerful uh, tools in uh, divination. I'll uh, show you here each piece individually. So right here I've got a mahogany obsidian skull. You can see it's uh, black and red patches. Yes, very nice. And I've got one here in uh, lapis lazuli. Yeah, I just love the uh, royal blue color with uh, its patches of pyrite. Yes really uh, helps to open up my uh, third eye. And just this past week, I uh, bought these two uh, black obsidian skulls from my uh, local metaphysical shop where I live. Yes. <laughs> Don't mess with these buddies. <laughs> and here's another one here in black onyx. Doesn't have uh, quite the shine or the luster uh, of a black obsidian, but uh, still very grounding, soothing. And I have a bigger skull here. This is uh, actually gold sheen obsidian. I don't know. I don't know if you can uh, see the. Uh... Ah, there you go. The shades of gold. Yeah. Quite grounding and uh, we'll be able to uh, bring you better luck. And for clarity, it's a clear quartz. Yep. It's to uh, clear my uh, conscience of any uh, negative thoughts and emotions, help uh, open up and clear all my uh, chakras, specifically the crown. Uh, here's another one here in Dalmatian Jasper. Yes, uh, I use this to um, bring a little more fun and joy and creativity into my life and to remind myself not to take life too seriously. And um, yes, this resembles the uh, fur of a Dalmatian dog. And I've got another one here in Red Jasper. Yep. Very grounding. Yep. Helps uh, bring to uh, bring back any uh, physical energy that I mean that I may need for um, the day ahead. And another one in amethyst. Yep. Mm hmm. I think this is a uh, actually chevron amethyst with its uh, deep shade of purple and streaks. Of white lightning yes very nice and another one here in rose quartz yep really helps to uh, open up my uh, heart chakra I think it's kind of hard to uh, see, see the uh, pink with the sunlight in here but I can I can assure you it's rose quartz and here's another one in uh, Golden Tiger Eye. Yeah. Can, uh, 
really uh, open up the uh, solar plexus chakra and uh, bring more fortune into one's life. And uh, I have another one here in sodalite to uh, help me with my uh, communication abilities in speaking, writing, expressing thought. Yes, very nice. Now, as I've mentioned, uh, crystal skulls are an excellent way for uh, one to uh, raise uh, their consciousness during a meditation. I would just like to uh, show you a, a specific way in which you can uh, activate the uh, skulls abilities. So um, it'll help you uh, further expand your consciousness. I'll just take my uh, gold sheen obsidian skull right here. And uh, what you do, you uh, have to uh, treat this like uh, any other person with care. Um, so to uh, activate its uh, psychic channels, what you do is uh, rub your index fingers along the top. This will activate the uh, skull's crown chakra. And then you uh, rub your index fingers against uh, its forehead to activate its third eye. And what I also like to do is go to the bottom and rub my uh, index fingers alongside that to open up its throat chakra. Yeah. So that way you can... Uh, receive even clearer messages from your higher guides and uh, enhance the uh, quality of your uh, visions produced by your third eye while meditating. Crystal skulls are carved out of uh, every uh, conceivable uh, crystal that you can imagine and they assume uh, different facial expressions and uh, you can even find uh, crystal skulls that uh, assume the role of alien life forms. But uh, the ones that you've seen in my video are um, the most uh, or the most common kind of uh, facial features that you'll find out on the market. Now the pricing of a crystal skull is determined by its size and the rarity of the stone. So take for example this uh, gold sheen obsidian skull. Uh, I think I paid around $300 for this in Canadian dollars. Now, if um, this were to, uh, if this were made of malachite, the uh, price would be much higher since malachite is becoming rarer. I would say a malachite skull of this size would cost easily $500, if not more. These are used by shamans psychic healers and reiki healers for their work so for all you uh, spiritual healers out there i highly recommend these so i hope you found this uh, video to be helpful thank you for watching and uh, keep healing with the magic of crystals